call you doctor, considering the fact that you just uh, picked up your honorary degree in recent time. Welcome uh, to Nigeria Info Abuja. Thank you very much. Congratulations for, for bagging that, sir. Thank you. And yours is on the way. Oh, oh yes. yes. It's a delight. No, he's already, he has an honorary it's doctorate only, we are, degree. Yeah, we're following you. Know? you. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, we realize he started off as a journalist. You're still a journalist. You command. A journalist. Once a journalist, always a journalist. Yes. I'm still reporting. I'm still writing. I'm oh, still wow. analyzing. I'm still presenting. And mm. I'm still coding. Wow, you're coding. True. Fascinating. Wow. Yeah. And of course, you're still a politician. And I'm not a politician. You're not a politician. No. But you have political experience that is quite vital. Oh, politics. technocrats in politics. Yes. All right. So let, let's go back a little bit into your into the landscape of how you stepped into limelight. I remember uh, you did take up the job as commissioner for information and strategy and the likes of that under the administration of Ashwa Jubala Tinubu from mm -hmm. 1999 till about 2007. But a lot of people have often wondered, that means you are a step closer to the man who is running to be the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress in this 2023 elections. Tell us about his personality. Why can and why do you think Nigeria needs somebody such as Ashwa Jibola Metinubu to be the president of the country? Thank you very much for that um, very profound question. Um, I've had... Uh, a very close proximity to uh, Bola Metinumbu, uh, spanning over 30 years uh, since my editorship days and all that. And uh, we've gone through the crucibles together. We've gone through uh, a lot of struggles. Uh, that is the struggle for the enthronement of this democracy that you all enjoy and take for granted today. Some of us suffered for it. So... Uh, Bola Tinumbu particularly. And I say that amongst of all the contenders to the presidency today, none has made a significant, as a significant contribution to the development of this democracy like Bola Tinumbu. He has paid his price, paid his dues, suffered. I was there, I witnessed when his house was firebombed in VI when the, during the Nadeko struggle. I was there when he was arrested uh, and, and detained at Alagbon uh, for declaring uh, the Senate open when Abacha took power. And uh, he rallied some of his colleague senators around to resist the military. For that, he spent uh, weeks in detention. And uh, when he was declared wanted dead or alive, he had to scurry disguised as a beggar, limping on one leg, and left Nigeria for uh, exile abroad. And I was with him on exile as well, you know, and uh, <laughs> people don't know what it takes to be on exile in a foreign country when you have, you, you are not in your natural environment, your natural habitat, you, you don't have money to survive and all that, and you are prosecuting a struggle to boot. You know, anyway, fast forward. Um, when MQ Abiola died in 98, Tinubu wanted to come back home to contest for the Senate. For Don't forget he was a senator before he left. In actual fact, most people, when they say that, oh, where did Tinubu get his money? He was money, he, he robbed Lagos State and stuff like that. I laugh at their ignorance uh, and, and lack of historical background and knowledge. Because throughout the struggle from 1993 to 98, the struggle for the de annulment of June 12 election, for the enthronement of democracy, Bola Tinumbu was one of the pillars of that struggle, financing, funding the struggle, both here and abroad. And he never dreamt of becoming a governor at that time. Hmm. And he had been doing all of those things. So, don't forget that he also had a background in corporate uh, world. He was the, the treasurer of Mobile, an international or multinational oil company, an oil giant. He was a treasurer. Before then, he had served in various multinational corporations like Haskin, Deloitte Haskins, and, and Touche. He was an auditor. He had audited, you know, top-class Fortune 500 companies, Saudi, Arabian, Aramco, and stuff like that, before coming to Nigeria to join Mobile and then veering into politics in 1991. Get, get into the Senate, the June 12 struggle, and all that where he spent. There was no journalist, and I say this with all sense of responsibility because I was a participant observer. 
There was no journalist in this country that was hounded into exile as a result of the struggle for democracy that did not benefit from Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's largesse abroad at that time, 93 to 98. Now, he became governor in 99, mm -hmm. right? And then brought some of us in because we've had an history, right? Uh, if you read some of his uh, interviews uh, about his account on the struggle, you will see my name featured severally between 93 and 98. So you're really close to the action of who he is. Uh, and Not just who he is. I was close to, the, to, to, to the, the, in the vortex of that struggle because my boss, the late MQ Abiola, was the man that won the election, the freest and fairest election in the history of this country that was annulled. So I was inexorably drawn into the struggle right from day one. Mm. Right. So I was editor of the Concord for 10 years unbroken, 89 to 99, before I got into government. That, by the way, for right. those who so, don't know the Concord, that's a popular magazine that was known. It wasn't the, the just prime a magazine. It. it was a table yeah, it was of the, titles. It was the Sunday premium. Concord, of, Weekend Concord, Concord National yeah. Concord, yes. and all that. And people really did get the news. And, and it's, I mean, when, we, I mean, having provided the insight into his personality and you know, much of his work into now, one would say, well, at this time, one of the few things that has remained controversial around him has remained his health and I his source of I wealth. I haven't got into why should he be the president. Oh, okay. I mean, because of his time. time. Yes. You know, I was laying the background okay. to him. Now, why I personally believe he should be the man to drive Nigeria at this very point in time is because of his antecedents, his track record of performance, as exemplified by what Lagos State is today. When he resumed as governor of Lagos State in 1999, this is, you know, a popular point out there now, the revenue generation or revenue intake, IGR, internally generated revenue of Lagos State, was 600 million naira a month. I wasn't told. I didn't hear about it. I didn't read about it. I was there. I was the commissioner for information and strategy that propagated all of these points and publicized these things at the time. And I took part in the meetings, the executive council meetings, that re-engineered the finances of Lagos State as led by Bola Ahmed Tinobu. What did he do? It wasn't rocket science. It was just knowledge. He plugged the loopholes and leakages in the system. For the first time in the history of this country, he brought in the computerization system into the payroll of legal state. And that blocked loopholes. Before then, we had ghost workers, right? The first time he brought the computerization uh, system was called Oracle. Of course, the civil service, you know, everybody, human beings naturally resist change. Mm. The civil service resisted it. He insisted that you had to do biometrics before you'll be qualified to, to receive your pay. So he forced everybody to do it. Everybody did it. The very first month that thing was done, the state saved 350 million. And that meant that, don't forget, the total IGR was 600 million. So, now, the first month he introduced that Oracle system, 350 million was saved, which meant that 350 million was going down into private pockets every month before that computerization. That was the first time in the history of management, financial, public financial management in this country. Ever since then, other states and the federal government have copied. That's not the first, that's not the only one. He then started to bring in mechanisms like the ABC, the alphabet that they say, oh, he's using that alphabet to siphon the money of Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Right now. Are you saying he's strongly using, associated with the alphabet company? Because I uh, said he brought that mechanism, he introduced it. Not that it's associated, you can introduce ideas without being the owner of those ideas. So what you do you can say bring to in consultants? What do you the, say to the, people who say that he, he has a stake in alphabet and quite a lot of I say they are just they are, they are, these are they are nurturing nabobs of negativism, and they are they are swimming and swarming in abysmal ignorance. Wow! And because they are lethargic, and 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 lack creativity, and they are envious 
of Ashiwaju's success in this regard. So, so, so it's, 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 it's not about, you know, this allegation and that's we, we need I'm clarity you. on that's, it. That's, we need to that's know what I'm clearing. if it is a yes or no. no it's not about no, no, being no. envious. No, no, no. They are not, they are not, they are not uh, absolutism here. Yeah. No. Because those allegations are not absolute. They are saying that, oh, he's using Alpha Beta to, 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 to siphon. For God's sake, I am a journalist. I've been one all my life. But well, one of the elementary principles of journalism is empirical verification. Oh, definitely. So therefore, when somebody makes an allegation, as a reporter yourself, as a journalist yourself, you subject it to critical analysis. It's part of what right? we're doing here. No, That's what no, we're no, no, asking no. you. Interview you are a close associate of Asiwaju, sir. Excuse me. Our interviews cannot substitute for investigation. No, it's not. So, it's, so not it's not a not holistic thing. It's part analysis. of it. That's what let I'm me, saying. Let, let me tell you, what is critical analysis is to subject that allegation to your own investigation. And when you've investigated, you investigate via available evidences. What was the revenue that accrued to Lagos before the introduction of this mechanism? I just told you. Now, after the introduction of this mechanism, the IGR started jumping up. And today, it's hovering above 51 billion a month, which makes Lagos State the fifth largest economy in Africa. Okay. Bigger, larger than over 30 African countries. Okay. Now, this is the logical deduction. If you did a, an empirical verification, if they say a man is using a mechanism to rob a state, However, contrarily, that state's revenue is shooting up. So I really, Does that I, not I, I now re, make... I really you know, appreciate... Can you see the, the, the deduction you know, there? So well, that, there's that, a measure of deduction. So, therefore, the point is from that logical deduction... Or to log say that he is not on the board of Alpha Beta or he's not benefiting directly. I mean, that's no, the, no, no, that's no, the no, trust no, of the question no, Swartz no, is no, asking. No, no, it's not. It's, and that is even easy. Again, I will lay it on the doorstep of the media. I call it mental laziness. I am one myself, but I call it collective mental laziness. So you're of satisfied. The, of, the, of the media, because how do you verify if a man is on the board of any venture? The institutions well, are there. Yes, 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 We can go verify so can and go all that. Verify. But so we, know, we know how things work in Nigeria. So we listeners. know how things That's happen in I Nigeria, say, too. I mean, so. all over the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, it behoves on us as purveyors of information not to also adumbrate or propagate innuendos, rumors, and allegations without verification. When we have done our own internal investigations, what? then we now come out to the public to say, when we investigated this allegation, A, B, C, D were our findings. Let's move on to now, another subject because of like time. I always say, don't substitute for investigation. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very critical point you've made, uh, especially when it comes to media. Interviews don't substitute for verification and, of course, critical examination, as you've mentioned. Right. However, there's something Nigerians are left to you know, wonder about. And obviously, they look at the situation, they assess events, they go to many of those rallies, either in person or watch those rallies, as paid for, for example, by the All Progressive Congress. We've seen many moments in which the candidate of the All Progressive Congress has had a very difficult time um, expatiating his points or even keeping track with some of his own line of thinking. Mm -hmm. What do you deduce from that? Nothing, absolutely nothing. And Doesn't that strange. give you cause of, for concern, sir? Not at all, because I know his schedule, you don't. Right? That's one. So two, his schedule is responsible for it. Two. Two is the fact that haven't you seen the other candidates making slips in public speeches? Not as frequently no, as Bola and I disagree with you. Not I as disagree. frequent. Okay, I always I will come back to empirical verification. Begin to give me the numbers and the examples and the locations, time and places so where those slips became more than the other candidates. Let me tell you what is happening here. Ashiwaju Tinubu is a candidate to beat. Mm. And that's why everybody, all eyes... You know, you know the reason why we're asking this, land. son? Let me land. 
see, sir, we don't have all is, the time. Let, it, let, it, let me just let him interjection is permitted here. Then you here. allocate more time for <laughs> you. We, we can take you on. If you were like that, let's go. So you're shared. No, it's the case. It's okay. No, let me land on that. Okay, when you land, I will come in then. It is a principle of anchoring. Mm. When you ask a question, so you of course allow you the best a guy to respond. But brain. interjections are also allowed, Interjections sir. that do not circumscribe the flow of thought or the logical deduction of what the respondent is saying. You shouldn't. Okay, so now, let's get the best now, of what you mean. What I'm saying is this. When you run the schedule that Ashiwaju or any, any political uh, figure yes. runs, mm -hmm. even at your own level, you do make slips. Are you perfect? Oh, yes. No, no, right? not perfect. You are not. Fine. Now, at that level, and I can tell you, as someone that has very close proximity, even this morning, I left him at 3 a.m. This morning. Mm. Yesterday was the same thing. Mm -hmm. Day before yesterday was the same thing. And don't forget, think back, mm -hmm. since after the primaries, even before the primaries, till now, Tell me any presidential candidate that has traversed the length and breadth of this country, that has been engaging in back-to-back -back rallies, hopping from state to state, driving, flying, and yet we say this man is ill. Now, after that, he oh, goes... Oh, never said he's wait. ill. I was asking, no, and you, you said, said nothing. You, no, I asked you, what do you deduce? And I you said, said nothing. Said nothing but, but now your, you're bringing the word question, ill. Your question yes. is symptomatic of the innuendo. Oh, my question was plain. And <laughs> was the, the my, my systematic was plain. I can read the innuendo. Don't forget. Oh, I'm an information oh, manager. I, I know. So, so, you so don't your have perception to say is... Your perception is leading to your interpretation of it. because you are actually reinforcing the views out there. No, that I was asked a why, simple question. That was I why said you it's, raised it's, that issue. I, 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 so I'm raised helping an you issue. to spread it and to break it down. Mm. Now, when you run that kind of shadow, it is human and natural that occasionally you could make slips, and people do make slips. Even those who don't run, I make slips, and I don't run as tight a schedule as that. Can I ask now, you now? that's no. one. No, you can't. Let me learn. <laughs> two. Two is the fact that I just told you how this man even punishes himself to the chagrin of those of us who are close to him. And not once, not twice, several times we've had to literally force him to, to go bed, rest. To go and rest. Because mm. after those rallies, he comes in, the, all the living rooms are filled up. You know how it is. Yes, I understand yeah. that. Everybody wants to see him, and he sees everybody before. He goes to bed. So he doesn't get to bed every day. So, of course, those are going to take a toll. Yeah, so, so right? fatigue. So, in it, any case, in any case, the, 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 mar I marvel at, and I asked him this morning, early this morning, about three, I said, how do you do it? Because I don't know how he How should he it. do I it? do it. How should he do it? How should he do it at moments that are very important in public spaces and not captured moments, and interpreted all otherwise? All important to the politicians. So don't all forget. Moments. All moments are mm. important to the politicians. But as, because of nature, it comes when it comes. Do you mean nature so based on age? You if, have seen Atiku, right? At very important gathering, sleeping. Yes, oh, yes. if he Peter sleeps, Obi it's, understand, it's understandable sleeping, if right? a man yes. sleeps, sir. Atiku has been caught making sleeps. Even in Chatham House, I he made the sleep. So what is the big no, deal because sir, it's because some of That's the, what I'm telling some you. Some of the utterances are incoherent no, and we need to no, understand no, where that is coming no, from. No, sleeping no, no, is a different problem. No, 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 no. Being you incoherent is different, you are, sir. Absolutely I can give you an example, sir. When Bola Ahmed Tinubu was famously called you know, shown to say the bala balu. No, that's something that, I, that I can't again, understand. Is there another way to say that? No, 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 no. That, but if that he sleeps, sir, it's, it's not okay. True. It's not that, true. What is true then? It was then? doctored. It was doctored. It wow. was doctored. You, you do I'm realize? I'm telling you, it was doctored because we showed the the real original video clip. Why on did, TVC? Why would and you? And then there was there was it was broken into snippets and thrown on the social media. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't forget, a few days ago, I'm sure you all saw the, um, the video clip of Buhari on social media mm -hmm. on, on this currency issue. Yes. Saying that, uh, no, there's no going back, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Blah. But that wasn't the complete thing. Mm -hmm. The following day, when we got that, we showed the full video. 
because they asked him if he was going to support uh, Tinubu or not. And he said um, uh, he wanted to leave a legacy of free and fair elections. elections. And so they, they caught, they doctored that clip to insinuate that he wasn't backing uh, Tinubu. So why so wasn't we the now, real videos minute, we put, now out put out too? Of course we did. We did. We pushed it out. And I'm telling you the most recent example. This was oh, yeah. three days ago. Mm -hmm. We pushed out the, uh, the, the, the full footage where he said, oh, the, uh, Tinubu is his candidate and he's going to win. Is his successor. Blah, 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 blah. And people were marveling. So and, this been, was, and, and, and that was doctored and by the opposition. President so Buhari has been consistent. This in a yes. campaign. So, but you expect it. Just, we expected it. Just to so, mention, yeah, President Buhari has been consistent that, of course, he would support the candidate of his party, not, APC. No, no, consistent. no. Most people don't think what you are thinking. Yeah. They don't, I mean, I, I'm not saying most people. The opposition don't, don't think. think what you are saying mm. now. They doctor it. They twist it. You know, to create another impression or a misperception of the whole thing. It's, so it is it's normal. interesting. It is let's normal. let's go back to the question of um, you no. Know, I mean, one of the biggest significant things about Ashwa Jibola Medinibu is the fact that he's an excellent organizer. I was seeing him organize. That's not the only attribute. I said one he's one a visionary. One of, one of. One of. He's, a, he's a knowledgeable person. Is a courageous nobody contending today for that so high he, office is, that he, is as courageous as he is. So None. In terms of the experiences, in terms of the antecedents, in terms of the examples that well, I can begin to reel off from in, now in, to tomorrow. Interesting that you've added a little bit more to my earlier choice of saying he's one of the most excellent organizers. But to go back to the question of fatigue, um, it would also interest you. I, and, and I know you're very big on history in this country. I've seen your articles, I've read quite a number of them, uh, even with your references to former President Obasanjo, how at some point in time he took out history from schools. You've made a lot of uh, things to say. I lived through all the period. I yeah, didn't yes. read about uh, and, and I'm saying to you that you've captured those moments in your articles and you've written about them. And I do wonder, when you, let's go back to the issue of fatigue. And we saw former President President Gerard as well. Um, at the time in office, he, he had didn't have the best of health to manage to. Are you concerned that if at this point in time, during rallies and the heavy schedules, and running if your candidate were to win, how he would manage the heavy schedule of being You don't compare apples and oranges. The Yaradua case is a far cry from what we are saying here. Yaradua had a debilitating illness. Well, before, even during his governorship. Would it be right to say he's so a candidate well, healthy? Well, before he assumed the presidency. And that was common knowledge. Mm. He had a debilitated. Unfortunately, the younger generation just lacked the history. And, yes, and you, background. You, you write about you know, that often. So, yes, yes. It, it's unfortunate. And, uh, in, you know, ironically, there's so much access to information now in this IT age. But there's very little knowledge acquired by the younger generation. Mm. And it's, it's, it's sad. Now, there is a far cry between what happened then to Yara Dua and what obtains today. In fact, in fairness to all the candidates today, there's none that, you know, you can allude such a thing to. Yes. I do not see. Mm. I do not see. Because there's none of them that has any debilitating illness. Presumably right? everybody is healthy. Look, when you say healthy, you also Presumably. have Presumably. You have to also, uh, you know, localize it. Now, nobody, including yourself, knows what you are carrying inside of you. As the None. case with everybody. Exactly. Exactly. What so, which is can, why what, the need for examination can, comes into play. What you can... What you can say, look, just two days ago, I had a story of somebody who was on the phone in his living room, and the guy on the other, on the other line was talking to him. The guy had gone, and mm. he held the, 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 handset. The, the handset, Wow, and that's he was sad. gone. That was just two days ago. Mm. So now, with regards to that, nobody can play God. Nobody. Nobody and can then play. when you now start hammering, oh, this man is ill, and I say subject it to analysis. No candidate has been hopping around the country like this man. If, he, if he's not feeling well, if he's not healthy, he won't be able to do that. It's not, it's not a tea party to do what that man is doing it's a, on it's a, a daily basis. On a daily basis. Yes. You cannot have any ailment 
whether debilitating or not, and be hopping around. Are you concerned about his around. age? Are you concerned also? But because Why should I, I mean, be with, concerned with, about with age, age, how old is he? With age 70? comes in some sort of, I mean, we hear medical Need doctors talk about some sort that's, of... That's, uh, we used to think like that in the past. Oh, so it's not consistent today, with it. Today, today, in our world today, there is no age, there is no disease that is specific to any age. Mm. Mm. Right. Just a week ago, a 30-year-old man dropped cardiac arrest. What in the past several decades ago we would think you had to be 80 and above mm. before such a thing. So these days, nothing is sacrosanct anymore. So it depends on your constitution. Yes. It depends on your natural habitat, your eating habit, and so many things. So let's leave the relevances and concentrate on the plans, the programs, the vision, the knowledge, the courage that a man brings on the table vis-a-vis -vis his track record and antecedents, which no other candidate can compete with. All right, so we will need to conclude now so that we can spend some time with you on the TV network as well. Right, just, right. Uh, I will just give you like about two minutes uh, to you know, reiterate some of the plans that you think people might be missing out on uh, from Bola Medjimbo. Thank you. For instance, what are those issues? We say that, oh... Uh, Tinubu is coming to consolidate on the achievements of Buhari, where are their achievements, and is coming to redress or address the challenges that are remaining. Let us also not forget, or let's be mindful of the fact that there's no government anywhere in the world, and I've lived in several continents of the world, there is no government that solves all the problems of a nation. It is wishful thinking, it is delusional, sometimes hallucinatory mm. to expect that. Now, what does a government do? A government comes in, maps out, marshals its plans, and as much as feasible, try to achieve a pass mark, right? Yes. At least some of those points or, 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 or measures that it wants to take. Now, so therefore, the Buhari administration, I will be the first to acknowledge that there are challenges remaining. Yes, there are challenges. Why you've chosen renewed center. hope? And renewed hope. Renewed hope does not connote absence of hope. It's a renewed. If it's absence of hope, it will not be. There will be no word renewed. Renewed. You only renew what is existent. Mm. What is non-existent? Do you, you don't think renew. any hope you exists start. at the moment? Yes, that's you, why you, we said renewed. No, hope. I'm, I'm asking because if you if you the moment it in, you lose hope, you are dead. Yeah, I understand. So I, therefore, is Nigeria dead? No, no and your a assessment. Nation, a nation mm. is a continuum. It's a continuum. Governance, yes. I would have said. Governance too, it is because it's a nation. You know, so it's a continuum. It never dies. Never Even dies. in the case, or in the worst case scenario of wars, attrition, mm. and insurrection, the, the nation starts all over again. It moves on. So therefore, the, Tinubu is coming and is the best person to consolidate on whatever achievements that are on ground mm. and is the best person to address whatever challenges. Security, for instance. Uh, Financial engineering, nobody beats Tinubu there. And all his contenders, all his critics know that because he has done it before. And it'll be right. Lagos as the That's host right. of your successful. That's right. I have, so, to say, I have to say have to say big thank you to you because mm -hmm. all of your own time as well, because we're committed <laughs> to you. stay within your shadow as much as thank we can. You. you know, you know when it comes to elections, and of course you are an amazing guest. So if you leave us to it, we will talk, <laughs> we will take messages before writing in, and we would not stop. It's really, really pleasant to uh, talk to you. Maybe next time you are located two hours, we'll We'll, 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 we'll be glad to we'll do that. that. Uh, it will be, be glad. my pleasure. All right, then. Uh, maybe we would have to fix that time okay. and have this conversation properly. Okay. okay. Yes. Well, well, we'll, be, we'll be speaking to Special Advisor, Media and Communications and Public Affairs at the PCC. That's the All Progressive Congress. Uh, Mr. Delia Lake, well, is an honorary doctorate now. Conveniently, we like to add that. <laughs> and of course, he has served as a commissioner in Lagos in the past. And he is a technocrat um, mm -hmm. who really engages in politics to make a difference as they continue much of the campaign on Renewed Hope. Thank you so much for your time Thank today. Thank you for coming, My sir. great pleasure. I appreciate you. Stay with Smart, right? You're not drawing for I'm after TV. <laughs>
in a way that is trustworthy, full of passion, and yes, covers the biggest politics and the stories that matter to you. See, you have all the reasons to find out what's going on in Nigeria and be a get differently. Let's talk.